Good morning and welcome to the Gospel of Luke. We're at Luke chapter 12, verses 22 and 23 today. Let's read it. Then he said to his disciples, Therefore I say to you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat, nor about the body, what you will put on. Life is more than food, and the body is more than clothing. So here's a word from Jesus, and we're going to continue through, but just today, just these verses. Don't worry about your life. Well, there sure is a lot of worrying around, isn't there? There's a lot of worrying around us. People are especially worried, do I have the latest phone? Uh, do I have the right car? Do I have good-looking clothes? Jesus says, hey, wait a minute. And he's going to tell us later on. He says that the nations are, are getting into, they're worried about this. This isn't for you. You and I, we're not worried about this. But here's the problem. This is a, a misuse of energy. God is on our side. He loves us. He, he wants He wants to give us good things. This is one of my favorite passages that we're going to get these next few days here we have this business about don't be carried away with uh, nervousness over this or that. Look, God knows what, what we need. It's not about the body. Life is more than food. The body is more than clothing. Now, in the world around us, I understand. You and I both understand, right? In a materialistic world without any spiritual pieces, guess what? People are worried. All, all they have, right? There's no God, so I'm just going to die. So all I really have is I can eat my blueberries here now, and I can have a fast car now, and I can... But after that, I'm gone. So, like, it's kind of hard to enjoy it when you're dead because you're dead forever. You're not coming back. Well... The Bible picture is different. The Bible picture is that this life is the beginning. This is not the end. And there we'll, we'll face the judgment. Uh, well, if we are on Jesus' side, he'll transform us. We'll be totally forgiven, and uh, he's going to change us so that we're going through on into eternity, and we'll be surrounded by other unselfish people. All of us will be unselfish. This life is the beginning. It's not the end. There is, so to speak, an afterlife. There's a resurrection and so we are not at the end. We're only at the beginning. But for the materialistic person, everything is all that there is. Got to get your blueberries now. It's now or never. Got to do it now. So the body is not anything more than clothing. The body then is not anything more than the food you eat. But for the Christian, we recognize a totally different worldview, a totally different perspective on life. And so we, uh, we can rejoice that we are at the very beginning. We don't need to worry about these things. The body is more than clothing. Let's take care of the body. Let's let God help us develop self-control through the body that he's given us. And we'll be blessed because once, once that, that piece is there, everything else becomes more possible. So friends, let's, let's not fall into the trap that's all around us, the materialistic uh, all we, everything is just what we see is all that is. We know that is a lie. We have a lot better plan. Let's pray and give thanks to God for something much better. Dear Father in heaven, thank you that the life is more, that the body is more than clothing, that there's more than just the most delicious and the most aesthetically pleasing, good-looking things there's more than just the experience, the sensate experience uh, for us. There is the all eternity stretching out before us as believers in Jesus. So thank you for that, Lord. Watch over us. Help us to keep our eyes uh, uh, looking higher and not be reduced to just the material. That is a blindness, Lord, all around us. May we not be blind in that way. We ask you in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, oh, friend. God is on our side, he's for us, and he's giving us a lot more, even than, than these fantastic best things that are available in this world. God gives us so much more through Jesus. May you be blessed today in all that you do.